Um, first of all, let's talk competence and competency. Um, the new ethics code for behavior analysts, which is the one that it starts 2022, it is not called uh, the, the PEC, the Professional and Ethical Compliance Code, is the current one. The ethics code, it's officially called ethics code starting 2022. So they're differentiating the numbers instead of like versions. Um, the ethics code has a definition and we will pull up the ethics code here in just a minute. Um, but the ethics code has a definition on scope of competence. And they say that the scope of confidence competence is defined by the sorry is defined as the professional activities a behavior analyst can consistently perform with proficiency okay that's a starting point great um doesn't really define what proficiency is <laughs> or even consistently necessarily so we've still got some some gaps um, so if we look at the dictionary, Merriam-Webster defines competence as the quality or state of having sufficient knowledge, judgment, skill, or strength as for a particular duty or in a particular respect. Again, what does sufficient mean? And maybe what are those particular duties or respects? So there's, um, there's a bit of a, a lack of really concrete, um, nice operational definitions that we can see and get good IOA on for competency. Um, one of the things that I have found, um, this uh, link there um, is, uh, oops, sorry. Um, ABA has defined some subspecialty areas, and those are, again, not like super in-depth, but they do like a, a nice bullet pointed page each about, I think there's eight or 10 identified um, subspecialty areas. So I would recommend checking that out so that you can um, look at those and, and kind of see what that uh how they're defining some of those subspecialties i didn't find um that it really also provided a whole lot on the competency but it did sort of narrow down um scope of practice which is different from scope of competency and we're not really going to get into that but the scope of practice is going to be more along the lines of what your license or certificate allows you to do. Competence should be what you can and should do, not, not, um, not just what you're legally allowed to do, but what you as an individual have the skill set to do um, efficiently and effectively and, and fluently. All right, so that's some information. We just don't, we haven't really defined it well. Um, I'm gonna bring in some other stuff here and we're gonna sort of try to put this together um, so that we have a better understanding of it, even if we don't have um, a, a really in-depth definition.